Stay where you are, Smith. I knew it was fucking too good to be true. Fuck, fuck! Ah, uh, fuck. Fuck! Hey, everyone. My name is Peacemaker, and if it wasn't clear by the outfit, I am a genuine superhero and protector of peace. And I'm Agent Amelia Harcourt. I'm here to provide a factual account of Christopher Smith's history with our agency because we know that he won't be doing that. This whole thing kicked off when Amanda Waller came to me and asked me to lead a super team to save the world. Close, not exactly. The aforementioned super team was comprised of highly dangerous prisoners serving time at Belrev, Smith included. For the duration of the mission, I was in the communications hub with John Economos and Amanda Waller. Smith was not the leader. Robert Dubois, AKA Bloodsport, was put in charge of team two. Thank God. My team was the real team. Team one were a bunch of losers. Disloyal and scared shitless. I think there was even a fucking ferret or something. He was a weasel. But yes, team one was a decoy, sacrificed for the larger mission. That's not to say my team didn't have its challenges. I mean, the biggest challenge being this jackass with a stupid accent whose biggest accomplishment was figuring out how to hide a flamethrower in his scuba suit. Yeah, it was a dick measuring contest between Smith and Dubois from moment one. The exact number of friendlies they took out is still confidential. Fuck that guy. We can check the tape and see who took out more gorillas. Soldier gorillas, not monkey gorillas. Okay. Monkeys would have been better. You killed allies. I'm not saying you should kill monkeys. I don't want you to, please don't go kill monkeys, okay? Don't confuse me here. Anyway, we reach our target. A lab called Guggenheim or Heineken or something. Jotunheim. Jotunheim. And inside we uncover this alien starfish that was captured from space. And this starfish, by the way, can control minds. Pretty fucking dangerous weapon if you ask me. Unfortunately, flag went rogue. Rick Flagg thought the truth was more important than peace. I can't let you do that, girl. Excuse me? Let me be clear. Nothing is more important than peace! Am I happy about what I did? No. Peacemaker. What a joke. Then Mr. Micro bullet shoots me and a building fucking falls in the end. Lights out. <laughs> Wake up at the hospital three months later and I'm being asked to save the world again. Yeah, obviously, we didn't have a lot of options. Pretty sure we would have chosen anyone else if we had the chance. But the world really is in imminent danger, so let's just hope that Smith can step up to the plate. I can step up to any plate you got. I fucking love baseball. American is apple pie. So the new mission is codenamed Project Butterfly. I'll tell you right now, if there's a Mothra about to be unleashed on the world, I will rip off its giant ass wings and fry its body with a massive fucking magnifying glass. That is not what Project Butterfly is, okay? I mean, they can't all be kaijus. Are we good here? We have a lot of work to do. Always fucking around, man. Fucking game day, bitches! Aren't you guys being a little nonchalant about all this? Are you insinuating there is a wrong time and a right time to rock? Fuck yeah! You don't understand what we're up against. We need every hand on deck. Is that an eagle? It's